All right, joined by Johns Hopkins track and field coach Bobby Van Allen. Coach, getting ready this weekend to start the indoor season. Crazy that it's already here after a quick turnaround from cross country, but just what's the overall vibe around the team? How's training been going as we get ready to kind of ease into this season? Right, yeah, I mean, uh, training's been going well. I think everyone's just uh, real excited to get back for the, for the distance kids, especially those that just competed at the cross country NCAA championships. Um, you know, it's kind of a little mixed uh, emotions of, you know, such an emotional high of an NCAA championship to so quickly turn around, switch gears and get ready for your first track race. But I think they're excited to, you know, show off their fitness and finally care about their times for the first time since cross country times are basically irrelevant. And, and for everybody else, yeah, I mean, they've been waiting for this for a long time for uh, not having an indoor season last year um, and such a short outdoor season. I think the rest of our team has been waiting for this day for quite some time and uh, the work's been put in and we're just excited to see where everybody's at and uh, go from there. Now, before we get into the sprinters and the jumpers and all that kind of stuff, take me through the process of a distance runner who just finished up a cross country season, how do they get that transition into one running indoor and two, like you said, being kind of more concerned with time rather than what place they're finishing in? Yeah, um, it's a you know that's a it's a tricky place to to navigate, and uh, you know I think uh, you know once they kind of get a few track workouts in, which we've been able to do even towards the end of the cross country season, and they start seeing you know they're just interval splits, they're coming around, the excitement just starts building. The uh, it's not a big shift from you know what we're doing training wise. We're not going to jump into with those people that have been focusing on 6Ks or 8Ks and all of a sudden start running 800s or miles. So most of our distance people that just finished off will focus still 3K and 5K. It'll be a little quicker, but um, you know we've done enough stuff to prep them for that. Um, and for the mid-distance group, you know they've been trying to splice in a lot more mid-distance work really since August. So. Um, you know, I think it's, it's not going to be too bad. And uh, I think a lot of them are probably going to come out and PR or hit their NCAA qualifying marks, which is a big goal for us to try to capitalize on the shape that we're in now and, and hopefully hit some of those in this first meet. How do you navigate that during a season, trying to get out to that fast start and get your kids in a position to qualify early and then just kind of monitor as the year goes on to make sure you're either hitting that mark or getting your other runners to that mark as well? Yeah, well, I mean, regardless if you come out here and you, you know, run the fastest time in the country and are ranked number one in the country, we're going to still want to develop and get faster. Um, so, you know, I don't think we're really worried about that, but we know finals are coming up, you know, the holidays are coming up. So it's nice to kind of just have, you know, at least a time in your, in the bag to kind of feel good about, um, you know, but we need, we do need that mental break. We need a physical break. So we're going to take that. We're just uh, knowing that you know, the, that first meet is so close to NCAA cross country championships. I, I feel it always works out a little better to take that break right after that first indoor meet. Um, so, you know, we won't see him for another month after this. So we'll have plenty of time, but you know, for everybody, we got to come back and uh, regardless of what they do today, whether they come out and they, again, as I said, run the fastest time in the NCAA, or if they really stick it up, it's going to be motivating. They want to come back here and really build upon that and have a successful indoor season. You know, the schedule for indoor is obviously really unique. And like you said, you run once, you know, you run in a couple of meets this weekend and then you have all that time off until next year to uh, to run again. What kind of challenges and what kind of benefits does that sort of provide where you have all that downtime kind of in between the with the holiday? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you can certainly get out of rhythm and it takes a little while to get back. But you know, we, you know, we started doing this probably like 15 years ago was trying to put a really exciting competitive meet on that first meet in December before we leave. And then we don't try to just ease into things when we get back in January, you know, we'll be actually back up at the same track, um, you know, on January 7th, right when we get back and we've got some big meets those first couple of weeks in January that are going to build that excitement. Um, so, you know, I think that the time in between that month off is just a much needed break to everybody like recharge and get physically and mentally, you know, rested. And then when we get back, we're ready to go. You know, really last couple of things here on both sides, the men's and women's, you have some pretty key veterans returning on the women's side. You know, Andy Gutierrez comes back to, to help out in the indoor season. On the men's side, you have Justin Kennedy, a former All-American and multi-time Centennial Championship. Having those people who have been there, done that, and then to kind of help groom some of the younger players along, how important is that for, for both of your programs? Yeah, I mean, it's everything. I mean, uh, Annie is so much a big part of this program, not just by doing 
what seems to be like 37 meets or 37 <laughs> events a meet. Um, you know, she has such great leadership and she just busts her butt in everything that she does. And, uh, you know, the younger kids right away get a chance to look up to that. Um, and, you know, she wants to be at her best um, every single meet. Um, so it, it's huge to have that. And yeah, I mean, for, uh, for Justin, it's gonna be great to get a full year back training. And last year was uh, a little chaotic and he didn't compete outdoors much. Um, so now he gets actually to have a full season and really pick up back where I think we left off before COVID shut everything down. So, uh, you know, it's, it, it's a deep team. There's some great leadership up top, but there's a lot of young freshmen coming in um, and those sophomores that really didn't get a chance last year to, to compete much in a Hopkins uniform are really gonna get a chance to kind of shine and you know, continue to develop this program. Well, Bobby, really excited to work with you guys as always. Best of luck this weekend and for the whole season. All right, much appreciated, Jeff, thanks.